Therefore, we are to make disciples of all men, baptize them, teach them, teach them to do just what I've told you. That is, teach them to go out and make more disciples. He said to them, the harvest is plentiful. That means you can't say to yourself, well, the harvest may be plentiful in Africa or in India or in South America. It's, but there's no harvest here in Bridgeport. They're all Catholics. <laughs> or you can't say there's no harvest to, in America. They're all, they're all atheists. They're all agnostics. They're all materialists. They don't care. Or else they're all in the church somewhere. You can't say that because it isn't true. The harvest is plentiful. The laborers are few. People are hurting. People are hurting. And we have a God who heals the brokenhearted, who is close to those who have a broken heart, a contrite heart. We have a God who knows how to comfort, who will come and be a comforter inside you. He gives us the medicine to take. Here's the medicine. Word. Word of God is living and powerful and it's food. Man cannot, finish this sentence for me with me. Man cannot live, live by bread alone, but by, by every seeds from the mouth of the Father. You people are all undernourished. What happens to undernourished people? They get weak, don't they? They're susceptible to all kinds of diseases when they're undernourished. Well, we're spiritually undernourished. Can you live on one meal a week? No. And you can't live on one meal a week of Bible. It cannot be done. You will remain weak. You will remain susceptible to all the pressures and stresses and the rest of the stuff. You need more food. You need to bulk up if you want to be a champion for God. If you want to just survive for God, you need more. We need to bulk up. We need to feed on the Word of God. Do I sound as though I'm angry with you? Mm -hmm. No. No. <clears throat> well, I'm not. I might sound like I am a little bit. Hmm, I don't quite know the right word to say. When you try to persuade someone of something and you tell them again and again and again and they just don't listen. How do you feel? Frustrated. Yeah. Now, some of you listen and listen well. And all of you, this is God's truth, all of you, well, maybe one exception, but <laughs> I, I'd like to say all of you, I've seen some progress in the last 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 years. But I also see in some of you resistance to God's grace and God's commands. And that hurts. That doesn't just hurt you, it hurts me, it hurts all your neighbors. It hurts the church. If one member suffers, the whole body suffers. And when one member is strengthened, it helps everybody else. So whatever you can do to make your walk with God closer and more obedient this year, please listen to the urging of Jack Crans. God put that on his heart to put in a letter to dear friends at Bridgeport. If you don't that's not a nice way to start that sentence. But take 
Jack Crenn seriously as a prophet from God who has sent you a message which God put on his heart for us. There is a harvest. The harvest is plentiful. The laborers are few. Jesus said, the people are like sheep without a shepherd. uses 